The ard, ard plow, or scratch plow is a simple light plow without a mold board. It is symmetrical on either side of its line of draft and is fitted with a symmetrical share that traces a shallow furrow but does not invert the soil. It began to be replaced in most of Europe by the Karuka turn plow from the 7th century. In its simplest form it resembles a hoe, consisting of a draft pole pierced with a nearly vertical, wooden, spiked head which is dragged through the soil by draft animals and very rarely by people. The ard head is at one end a stilt for steering and at the other a share which gouges the surface ground. More sophisticated models have a composite pole where the section attached to the head is called the draft beam, and the share may be made of stone or iron. Some have a crossbar for handles or two separate stilts for handles. The share comes in two basic forms, a socket share slipped over the nose of the art head, and the tang share fitted into a groove where it is held with a clamp on the wooden head. Additionally, a slender protruding chisel can be fitted over the top of the main share. Use Rather than cutting and turning the soil to produce ridged furrows, the art breaks up a narrow strip of soil and cuts a shallow furrow, leaving intervening strips undisturbed. The art is not suited for clearing new land, so grass and undergrowth are usually removed with hose or mattocks. Cross plowing is often necessary to break the soil up better, where the soil is tilled twice at right angles to the original direction. This usually results in square or diamond-shaped fields and is effective at clearing annual weeds. The yard shallow furrows are ideal for most cereals, and if the seed is sown broadcast, the yard can be used to cover the seed in rows. In fact, the yard may have been invented in the Near East to cover seed rather than till. That would explain why in Mesopotamia seed drills were used together with yards. The yard is most useful on light soils such as loams or sands, or in mountain fields where the soil is thin, and can be safely used in areas where deep ploughing would turn up hard pun or would cause salination or erosion. Ards may be drawn by oxen, water buffalo, donkeys, camels, or other animals. Types Ards come in a number of varieties. Based on use, there are two kinds. The tilthard for cutting furrows in cleared land, and the ripard or sod buster, which has a hooked share that gouges deeper into the soil and more effectively clears virgin or fallow land. The two were in early times used in conjunction with each other. Third is the seed drillard, used specifically in Mesopotamia, which added a funnel for dropping seed in the furrows as the ard cut them. The earliest and most basic tilthards are the two-piece models. Board, made of a bow-shaped draft pole originally pierced by a spear-like head, later developing a composite body with a separate head and stilt inserted in the pole. Bodyard, where the draft pole is inserted into the thicker upward-inclined head which tapers into a handle. The board is the weaker, narrower, and probably earlier of the two. It is used for shallow tillage, normally with a tang share, in dry, stony soils. It is restricted mainly to the Mediterranean, Ethiopia, Iran, and eastern India and Sumatra. The more widespread body art, sturdier and heavier for deeper tillage, usually has a socket share which is sometimes laterally extended or has serrated wings for better mixing of soil and cutting of weeds. It had a short portion of the body which was first made to slide on the furrow bottom and gradually developed into a horizontal body. The body art dominates in Portugal, Western Spain, the Balkans, India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Thailand, Japan, and most of Latin America. The board favored the development of a long horizontal sole body sliding on the ground. This led to the sole art, first attested in Bronze Age Cyprus, being single-handled and consisting of a flat sole into which were set the draft pole and stilt, meaning there were three separate pieces. Their use in ancient Greek agriculture was described by Hesiod. In northern Europe the single-handled crookard was favoured, consisting of a stilt inserted into a pole with a crook shaft, i.e., the pole had a curved shape and had a natural crook tip that served as a share. Later variations of the solar come in two types, the triangular and quadrangular ards. 
The triangular rod has a horizontal sole body holding the beam and stilt which cross each other, forming a triangle at the base. The quadrangular rod has a horizontal sole body connected to a straight, nearly parallel beam by a stilt and a brace. History Evidence of its use in prehistory is sometimes found at archaeological sites where the long, shallow scratches it makes can be seen cutting into the subsoil. The yard first appears in the mid-Neolithic and is closely related to the domestication of cattle. It probably spread with animal traction in general across the cereal growing cultures of the Neolithic Old World. Evidence appears in the Near East in the 6th millennium BC. Iron versions appeared c. 2300 BC both in Assyria and 3rd dynasty Egypt. In Europe, the earliest known wooden art dates from around 2300-2000 BC, but the earliest scratch marks date from 3500-3000. 000 BC. All of these were Boards, also depicted in the rock drawings of Bohuslän, Sweden, and Fontainebleau, France. The first Boards were likely adapted from hosen-like instruments and therefore suffered from poor balance due to their narrow bodies with only one point in the soil. This restricted their use to obstacle-free soils such as irrigated canals. The stress between body and pole was neutralized by adding a brace consisting of a fiber or leather strap between the low end of the pole and the body. The brace was later made out of wood and became important not only on boards but also bodyards. Today, a wooden brace between the draft pole and upper stilt is a particular feature of body yards in Syria, central Iraq, Turkestan, and Kansu. The Boar arrived in China as early as 3000 BC, most likely arriving with wheat, barley, and hemp in the Lung Shanoid period. Today, the Boar is confined to minority tribes and mountainous regions but in earlier times was widely disseminated until ousted by the Karukatan plough beginning around AD 600. The body yard made its way east as far as northwest China via Xinjiang province, but then underwent radical changes. A long pole body yard with a knee-like brace is still found in western Lanchao province. In some parts of Europe with moist soils, the body yard's path was cleared by a rissel, a coal-to-like implement used to reach greater depth. In Spain and Portugal this remains a separate tool, but elsewhere it was the precursor to the colta. Gallery Plowing of paddy fields with an ard pulled by oxen Plowing of paddy fields with an ard pulled by oxen